Hello gamers, it's SoftKitty99 and today we're in classic World of Warcraft. In front of me you can see Shadowprey Village, which is a Horde village, and underneath me you can see Sarferis Strand. This is this underwater sort of cove reef area just off the coast. In this whole area you'll find shellfish pots. Now both Horde and Alliance can loot the shellfish pots, and inside the shellfish pots there's a 1 in 100 chance that the big iron fishing pole will drop. This gives you a plus 20 to your fishing skill and you are required a level of 25 and a fishing skill of I think 100 to use it. Now for the Alliance I believe this is the best fishing pole in game unless you can get hold of the fishing pole from the Stranglethorn fishing contest. So if you're Alliance, that might be a good reason to come to this area. It's also possible that sometimes the fishing poles will sell quite well on the Alliance auction house. This doesn't work out quite so well for the Horde, because you can get a better fishing pole with a plus 25 fishing skill from a quest in the Hinterlands. So the fishing pole doesn't sell so well on the Horde auction house, but you might pick up a little gold at lower levels. Now I'm sorry Alliance, you can't do this one, but for the Horde, if you come to this area, you can also loot shellfish from the pots. And for the Horde, if you're on the dock area of Shadowprey Village, you can turn in five shellfish. This is a completely repeatable quest, so you can do it as many times as you like. And every time you turn in five shellfish, you will get 55 silver as a reward. So if you keep turning that in, 55 silver can soon add up to much gold. Now I've found even without water breathing potions and without any water breathing skill and being semi AFK, having competition for the area and not really paying that much attention, I can easily pick up six gold an hour. So if you're paying attention and you've not got competition, that can easily raise to eight, 10 or even 12 gold, especially if you're like a druid or a shaman who has water breathing, then you're not tied to the little breathing vents as people like me are. Here you can see one of the water breathing vents right in front of me. They've got this little rock formation with a zigzaggy line and you can see the water bubbles popping up. And as you can see, once I'm sat on the vent, the breath bar quickly fills up and then goes away and you can sit here for as long as you like and you won't drown. As you can see it in my bags at the moment, there's a variety of items that you can loot from the fishing pots. But the most important one, of course, is the big iron fishing pole, if you're Alliance, and the shellfish, if you're Horde. There are a few random greens that you can pick up, but I don't think any of them are anything special, so it's just an added little bonus bit of gold if you can sell them. Here we are on the map in Desolus. This is the location of Shadowprey Village. And this is the location of the reef area where you can find the shellfish pots. The shellfish pots can be found throughout the entire reef area. They can be found on top of the mountains, down low in the ridges between the mountains. But the spawn spots are fixed, so once you learn where all the traps are, you can set up a little route to allow yourself to keep looting them every time they respawn. So just swim around, find the locations, find yourself a spot where you don't have competition and just sit and relax. I did my farming while I was watching a film, so I really wasn't paying attention to the farming because I was watching the film for about 90% of my time. And this, I found, is a great way at low level to get a little extra gold for your mount. Of course, once you hit level 60, there's going to be much more variety of potentially more gold from different places to farm but when you're looking for your level 40 mount this is my preferred place to come so let's head back to Shadowprey village to turn in the shellfish if you come on the dock you're looking for a troll with a fish bucket and a fishing pole Jinar Zillan and he actually tells you about this spot hey mon you ever been diving deep in the ocean? I'll let you in on a little secret, eh? Deep in the ocean, you can find bubbly fishes. They'll allow you to breathe air while underwater. 
Let's keep this secret between you and me, though, eh? I don't need no competition for the shellfish traps elsewhere, if you get my drift. And then he has the quest for you, fish in a bucket. I'll reward anyone who makes my life a little easier. I enjoy doing as little as possible, Mon. Below the docks here in Shadowprey Village, I've many shellfish traps. If you're kind enough to do my work and collect me any shellfish, then I'll reward you with something you want. Get my drift, man? For every five shellfish you bring me, I'll give you a fine blood belly fish. Now, the blood belly fish is needed. You need two of them for a quest for the horde. And uh, once you've done that, he'll still let you turn it in. But here's the key point. Every time you turn in five shellfish, he'll give you 55 silver. So that adds up quite nicely when you're below level 40. And I think this is a nice chill spot to make a little bit of gold. It might not be the most profitable spot to farm, but it very much is the most chill one. And I used it to get enough gold for me to get my level 40 mount at level 40. So if you've got something else you want to do, like watch TV or watch a film, I recommend you just sit there, chill, empty a few traps, make yourself a little bit of extra gold. Now let me show you my personal favourite spot to farm. There you can see Shadow Pro Village. Here you can see the surrounding area. As you can tell, when it's an underwater section and there aren't any above water marker points, it's a little bit difficult to figure out exactly where you are. But I'm sort of level with the little circle across here and just slightly further out than where the coastline is. Just to give you a vague idea of the location. Now when we go go underwater it's a little bit easier to figure out exactly where I am. So if we duck underwater where you can see there's a bubbly fissure right there. There's just one little extra area over there and a little mountain right next to me and Shadow Prairie Village is right over in that direction. So it's a lot easier to see from the markers underwater because of the fissure and that little jutty up mountain just behind me. You can see one for shellfish trap down there and another one there, so that's two really close to the bubbly fissure. And then up high near this little mountain area, there's one on the right side and one on the left side of this little mountain bit. So you can reach all four of those traps from the bubbly fissure before you run out of breath. So let me show you the spot in action. First I'll swim down to the bubbly fissure. If you look close to the minimap marker, you'll see a little icon pop up. There it is. So you always know if you're within range of the bubbly fissure for your breathing. And of course, your breath bar will pop up above your head. The two that are down low are really close, so they're within easy range of swimming back to the bubble. Once you open one of the traps, there are a variety of things that can happen. One of them is that a Makura can spawn. I have seen some people run away and just leave the Makura there, but if you're going to be repeatedly farming the traps, it's best to kill them, otherwise you'll find a Makura waiting for you the next time the trap spawns, and then you'll have to kill it before you can open the trap. It's probably best to kite the mob back to the bubbly fissure, so that you make sure you don't run out of breath before the mob has died. Other things that can happen when you open the trap are you could be lucky and get the big iron fishing pole. There's a variety of grey vendor trash that you can get. There are a few green items that you can pick up. And of course the shellfish. And that's the thing that you're probably looking for if you're hoard. So the shellfish every five you turn in on the dock and you'll get 55 silver. Now we've got two that are a little bit further away. The first one, we're going to the one on the right hand side of that little mountain area. So if you kind of swim just to the right of where the little hill is, and then you come up over the rise and you will find the trap. 
I find that if a Makura does spawn out of this trap it's definitely best to kite it back to the bubbly fissure because it is possible to run out of breath if you fight the mob and it takes a little bit of time before you get back to the bubbly fissure so I definitely recommend kiting that one. So we'll head back to the bubbly fissure and get our breath back and then I would tend to head then for the fourth one of the traps. But as you can see just over there, the first one that we looted has already respawned. But we'll go for the fourth one just to give you an indication of where it is. So if I swim past the seaweed right there, that kind of gives me a direction. We're now on the left hand side of that little mountain. And there as we crest the rise you can see the fourth of our traps. So that is how I have been farming my goal for my mount just before I hit level 40. And then we swim back to the bubbly fissure before we run out of breath. And I've got my faithful pet kiting the mob back to the bubbly fissure for me so that we can fight it without worrying about running out of breath. And that is my favourite little spot for farming the shellfish. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. From Softkitty99, goodbye and happy gaming!